Hello, my name is Xiang Cili. I am a senior majoring in computer science and neuroscience. My third topic is training deep network as a rat to study the dynamics of neural activity. This topic involves both computer science and neuroscience. Specifically, I was trying to train an artificial neural network as a model to fit the result of a behavioral experiment on rat. The data is taken from Duan et al.'s paper. In this experiment, rats are taught to orient to visual target on left or right according to two rules, either pro or anti. Under pro rule, a water-deprived rat should orient to the same direction as the visual target. After a correct response, the rat can get water as reward. Under anti-rule, the rat must orient to the opposite direction as the visual target to get reward. For example, if the rule is anti and the visual target is on the left, then the rat should orient to the right. Each orient is a trial. Around 15 to 30 trials with the same orienting rule from pro-block or anti-block, which is shown in figure C. As shown in figure D, the authors observed that there are correct rate drops between both pro to anti switches and anti to pro switches. The mean of the correct rate drop is different between these two kinds of switches. I used the recurrent neural network to model the rat's behavior. Artificial neural network is an abstraction from real neuron. It is a mathematical model implemented by computer programs that do a series of matrix operation. Recurrent neural network is a kind of neural network that the same operation and the same set of parameters are used at every time step. It can preserve a certain amount of memory of previous data. During this summer, I first studied basic knowledges about deep learning in detail by following an online course. Then I started to build my own RNN model. The RNN is a vanilla RNN with hidden dimension equals to 5. The loss function is softmax, which can output the probability of each choice. In this virtual rat project, I first downloaded raw data from database and did pre-processing to format them. Then I input this pre-processed data to vanilla RNN and use stochastic gradient descent to train the network. I had to test many configurations under certain kinds of rules to determine the best configuration to train a model with high performance.
This figure is an example plot of training history of a single training process. You can see the training loss, which indicates the error of the model decreases to a stable value. After post-processing, the RNN's output can be plotted into graphs. This graph is an example of RNN's simulation result. It's obvious that at the points of switches, both from pro to anti and from anti to pro, there are significant correct rate drops. This figure is plotted in the same style as figure 3D in Duan et al.'s paper. It plots the average correct rate around block switches. As I mentioned before, there are correct rate drops between both pro to anti switches and anti to pro switches. The mean correct rate drop is also different between these two kinds of switches. In this figure, the dashed lines represent real rats data and the solid lines represent RNN's simulation result. Blue represents pro rule and red represents anti rule. I assess the performance of the trained RNN by plotting this figure and compare the dashed lines and solid lines. If the simulation result of RNN has the same property as the real rats, we say the RNN successfully learned the properties of rats' behavior. As you can tell by eye voting, the simulation result is quite close to the real rats' result. Their correlation coefficient is also very high, around 0.98. So far, I have finished building a vanilla RNN to simulate rats' simple behaviors. Later on, in my neuroscience independent study project, I will build a more complicated model such as long short-term memory to simulate temporal behaviors instead of simple choices. The dynamics of the RNN weights will also be studied. Here I want to acknowledge my great mentors, Professor Ehrlich from Neuroscience Department and Professor Zhang from Computer Science Department. They provided me many helpful advice and great support. Thank you.